President Sir Maposa's biggest lies have actually been exposed. Well, from the information that we're getting right now, Dalim Pofu is actually demanding an apology and of course a resignation. Stick right there and do watch the video till the very end. Of course, in today's video, we're going to delve into a major political confrontation that is shaking South Africa. Advocate Darlene Pofu, who happens to be a highly respected lawyer and former national chairperson of the Economic Freedom Fighters, has publicly called for President Sirema Posa to resign. Well, in a fiery tweet, Mpofu criticized Ramaphosa's apology to the people of Alexandra for unfulfilled promises, but the controversy didn't stop there. Mpofu raised questions about Ramaphosa's involvement in the Marikana massacre, the Palapala scandal, and even accused him of misleading the public about the DAANC coalition. Stick around as we unpack Mpofu's explosive claims and explore their wider implications on South Africa's political landscape. Well, the story begins with President Ramaphosa and, of course, the recent apology that he made to the people of Alexandra, which happens to be a township in Johannesburg known for its overcrowded conditions, poverty, and lack of services. During the 2019 elections, Ramaphosa visited Alexandra and made promises to improve the living conditions in the area, pledging that the government would address the housing crisis unemployment and crime. Years later, those promises remained largely unfulfilled, leading to frustration and disillusionment among the residents. Waramaposa's apology came after significant public outcry as the people of Alexandra began to lose hope that a real change would come. He admitted that the government had not done enough, but the apology didn't sit well with everyone including prominent figures like Dali Mpofu. Mpofu took to Twitter acknowledging Ramaphosa's apology but saying that it was far from enough and this is where the story takes a dramatic turn. While Dali Mpofu didn't stop at Alexandra, his tweet accused Ramaphosa of lying on multiple occasions, raising issues that continue to haunt the president. One of the most serious accusations Mpofu mentioned was Ramaphosa's role in the Marikana massacre. For those who might not know, the Marikana tragedy took place in 2012 when 34 striking miners were shot dead by police during a standoff with loan mean management. Ramaphosa at the time was a known executive director at loan mean and his involvement in the events leading up to the massacre has been the subject of much controversy. Mpofu's tweet reignited a conversation around Ramaphosa's responsibility in the massacre pointing out that the president has never fully addressed the issue or taken accountability. Mpofu called on Ramaphosa to finally apologize for his role in the tragic event, suggesting that the apology to Alexandra was hypocritical without addressing these deeper wounds. Well, another major scandal that Mpofu referred to was the Palapala scandal, which happens to be the Palapala farm incident. Large sums of foreign currency were allegedly stolen from Maposa's Palapala farm in Limpopo, raising questions about financial irregularities and a lack of transparency. Critics, including Mpofu, have accused the president of hiding the truth about the origins of the money and the reason it was kept in foreign currency. This scandal often referred to as Palapala Gate, has seriously damaged Ramaphosa's credibility. Mpofu's tweet ended with a clear call for Ramaphosa's resignation. He claimed that these multiple instances of dishonesty and controversy makes Ramaphosa unfit to lead the country. Well, as Mpofu's call for resignation gains traction, the political climate here in South Africa is actually heating up. Many are now questioning how much longer Ramaphosa can maintain his position amid these growing demands for transparency and accountability. Guys, do you agree with Dalim Pofu's call for Ramaphosa to apologize for his role in the Marikana massacre? Again, 
How do you feel about the Parapara scandal and its impact on Amaposa's credibility? And do you think Amaposa should resign? Leave your thoughts just down in the comment section. Thank you.